Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and I want to welcome any new viewers. So today we're going to be doing a project I thought was really cool. I went to Dollar Tree the other day and I saw these Halloween cutouts that we're going to be doing on and I just really wanted to do something with them. So we're doing some Halloween decor. And if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen everything needed for this project and you can also get that list on the community tab. So we're going to jump right in, starting with what's needed for this project. So the first thing we're going to need are the Halloween cutouts. There was four different ones. I picked three of them. I picked the ghost, the haunted house, and the witch. So that's the first thing. Then you're going to need some Mod Podge. And you're going to need fabric. And I picked three different fabrics because I didn't want them all to look exactly the same. And you're going to need a sponge brush, which I have set down somewhere and lost. I don't even know how I did that. Like completely gone, but I will find it. But that is what's needed for this project. So let's jump right in. Oh, I'm sorry. Scissors and cutter too. Because you're going to need to be able to cut out the stuff. Let me find that. It's going to be bugging me until I find that brush. Hold on, y'all. All right, the first one we're going to do is the witch. And I picked this fabric for two reasons. I like this fabric, and it's the witch is the one that fits on the best. So I got this fabric from Walmart. You can check out Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have any right now because I didn't find any. But this was from last year. And I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. And of course, I will have to piece together a little spot here. But this is basically what it's going to look like. Cut out, of course. So, we're going to go ahead. And we're going to start. I don't know why I'm shaking up the Mod Podge. But apparently, I'm shaking up the Mod Podge. So, we're going to go ahead and start. And we're just going to paint the Mod Podge onto the witch. And we're going to do a, we're going to make sure it's covered good because you want to make sure the fabric stays on there. And I'm not going to go too far up. I'm going to slowly add the fabric to it just to help make sure that it sticks. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to add the fabric. That got a little dry. You got and you gotta do this fast because the Mod Podge dries and you want the fabric to stick, so so and I didn't do it fast enough, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fix my problem. Alright, so And I'm just going to keep going until I have it covered. So. I was actually going to originally do some, um, what's it called, the, I will remember it eventually, the, um, I was originally going to do some of the, um, 
paper that I can't remember the name of right this second for some reason. But it wasn't big enough and I didn't have enough to go over and change the stuff so that's why I didn't go with paper. The I don't know, but I had to change my mind on what I did because the, the paper was not big enough to fit these carvings. So let's see how this goes out. And I'm not worried about the glue I get on me because it comes off. <laughs> Now I gotta go over the top with the Mod Podge to help hold it down and to stiffen it up. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'm not too concerned where the holes are because I'm gonna flip it over and cut, so I'm not worried if I miss it and just hit a hole. The important thing is getting the Mod Podge where it needs to go. I'm going to make sure it is good. See, look at that. I almost missed a spot. And then we got to let it dry once it's done. So we're going to let it dry. All right. So now we're moving on to the next one, which is to go. So we're just going to do the same process again. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to use a different Yeah, this is not working. I'm going to have to use something different. Alright, give me a second. Alright, y'all, we're going to try this double-sided tape because like I said, I want to try different things because 
I was not happy with the way the Mod Podge worked with the uh, scarf and I have to let the scarf dry because I wet it because of the fact that um, the, I had to get the glue off the Mod Podge off so we're just going to try different things and see how it works and hopefully this works. Okay, and then we'll cut all the excess off, and we'll be done with this one too. Alright, now let's see if this works. Now we got to cut all the excess um, fabric away, so let's hope this works. Me a second. It's been a minute since I changed my razor, so I wanted to sharpen it by taking, you know.
All right, y'all, this is the first one done. I like it. It looks creepy to me. I'm happy with it. Y'all can do, again, like I said, y'all can do how y'all want. I am a little upset that the Mod Podge didn't want to go over too well for me. But despite that, I like how this came out. Hopefully the Mod Podge worked really well on the first one. If not, I'll have to redo that one also. But I love this. I'm going to try this shell and hope it works. So, fingers crossed, everyone. Because I really, really, really want this to work. This is the So I am going to cut this because I'm going to need this for the rest of it as soon as I find my scissors that I've lost again. I lose everything off everything. All right, we'll let it dry and then we'll go from there. Now we're moving on to the last one. It's dry and we're going to cut. So, same thing on all the others. Just cut out the... design.
Just give me a sneak prick. Peek. Sneak prick. <laughs> Look how that looks. I think it's coming out looking amazing. All right, they're done. I'm happy with it. All I gotta do is put the um, hangers back in and I'll have three Halloween signs that look awesome. All right, so as soon as I find them, because I lost them again, I'm just gonna take the hangers and feed them back in through the hole. And I'm gonna tie them back. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna tie them back. We'll see. Just like that and also what I'm gonna do is you don't have to do this but I like to make sure that the knot does not come undone so I'm gonna add a little hot glue to it just to make sure the hole stays I mean the knot the knot stays not the hole knot I don't know what I'm talking about anymore obviously Retype. And you can also, if you don't want to use these hangers, you can use Halloween ribbon. I've done that many a times using the ribbon that goes with the holiday to hang them. So, I mean, there is that option also. So, don't forget about that. And then I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to put some on there. Just to make sure that the knot isn't going anywhere. 
what I said. That's all you gotta do. Now, normally with my other glue gun, it does get hot, but it never got so hot to touch really. It doesn't normally get so hot to touch that it burns me. So I'm able to, you know, the um, glue just to make sure it's where I want it, but I can't do that on this because it will burn. So I'm just gonna do it like this. that's it for mine um, when I got these I also got some from my cousins so that's the next thing y'all gonna be watching all right y'all my cousins saw these and they decided they wanted to paint too so we got them each their own and Danny's gonna do a pumpkin Luke is going to do a ghost, and Mikey's going to do a haunted house, so let's get to it.
All right, y'all, that's it for today's video, and I had so much fun making it. Sorry that the camera shook. Danny kicked the table, but I enjoyed making these projects. I know the kids enjoyed painting theirs. I cannot wait to see you next time, and if you like these projects, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Now say bye, y'all. Bye. bye. All right, bye.